All right, guys, we're going to just really quick show you how to load a, a multimodal model in Cobalt CPP. Um, again, the multimodals, what they do is they allow you to upload images that um, then will give you descriptions for it. This can actually be important at a practical level when you're using photo restoration because you take the original uh, photo, you have it describe it in high detail and feed it back into the machine. Um, and that way you can make small changes without um, changing the whole thing. So uh, with Cobalt CPP, Cobalt CPP is more of a, a, a playground. It's more of a fun sort of application than it is a production um, application. So uh, you're probably going to use something in this more for the reasons of storytelling or uh, narration and stuff like that or just, you know, doing whatever. So we're just going to kick through this really quick. Um, I will tell you that this doesn't work as good as it does on the terminal on the command line so if you want to get higher level stuff um, stick with your llama.cpp on the command line and your python um, but this is work so what we're going to do is click on the browse now you should be able to um, <coughs> go back and you'll or we downloaded a few of these if you didn't watch uh, watch one of my other videos about bunny or um, oh yeah go watch the bunny video and that will show you how to download these things Bunny is a multimodal model that is just superb. Um, and then we're going to go over here and click Model Files. And we're going to click this Browse under Lava, MMPROJ. And then we're going to grab a file that actually says MMPROJ on it. So we click that bad boy. Okay, and it's going to load it here. And then we're just going to be done. We're just going to click Launch. Okay, it's going to take just a matter of a few seconds to get that up there. And then it's going to pop up into our browser window like that. Okay. Easy peasy, Cobalt CPP is mm, très magnifique. Okay, so uh, as always, you could give this thing context. You are a uh, helpful AI assistant with an eye for details. Um, you describe images in great detail, in great detail, mentioning every part okay we'll press ok now um, we can check our settings we want to put this temperature down um, down to around there that's probably fine let's turn the top seat thing down here um, that's basically just gonna give us a few more words to choose from makes the writing a bit better and then let's just give it an image so we'll upload an image grab this for my upcoming music album Okay, and uh, let's say describe this image in detail. Image black and white, feature man's in a bar stool. The man's wearing a cowboy hat and a banana under his waist. He has a bottle of alcohol in front of him. There's also a glass bottle. So he wasn't really that verbose, but let's see. Uh, be more verbose. Perhaps. So again, for whatever reason, in llama.cpp on the command line, it would blow this up you'd get all paragraphs uh, here this isn't working as good but it's working okay uh, we could try turning up the amount to generate but I really don't think it's going to matter now one of the interesting things here is um, we could keep asking it questions about this but at some point um, it starts to just more rely on the text so it's like uh, the telephone game like as things change uh, it's going to go back and start to um, just incorporate small changes into its responses which will get incorporated in the next and so changes will get bigger and bigger so the easiest thing to do is click new session check this to make sure that you keep your context your uh, beginning context press ok and then just add an image again so we're going to go ahead and use this one from an earlier video I had this with Gal and the bikini and then me over here and let's just say uh, describe the two people in this image uh, uh, be verbose and mention everything okay both of you were probably displayed she appears to pose for camera she's wearing purple bikini tops sleeveless hugs her body closely that's good her face is done with makeup and has her natural beauty okay there's another individual, individual present in the frame he's a man distinguished by his facial hair a beard and a mustache okay 
So there you go. So it was able to grab the two out of that. So now here's where Cobalt CVP could make it more fun to say, uh, create a fun, I don't know, funny story about these two meeting. Use the descriptions in the story. Okay, so here you go. A man and woman each goes their own unique way. Man dominant by so it goes ahead and it creates a stupid story. <laughs> okay, so that, that is a stupid I just took a second to do that is a stupid story. Hold on just a second. So we're gonna just try something else here really quick. So we went ahead, uh, pause for a second, we click new session, we started this up again. Let's just ask it, let's say uh, write a song about the two people in this image. So there you go. So I see two people, one is a woman, the other is a man. Woman's got her hair up, wear a second purple dress, that's quite thin. She's in the beach, and it feels so serene. And then there's this guy, he's got a beard, this is the chorus, and a mustache. He's wearing a hat back, he's a shirt that's back, his night. You can hear some like that. Got some. So it's not a good song, but you can see you could play around with this. Now, the thing here about using these uh, multimodals is they're not really chat models. So it would be cool if we could tie this into something like Aura, which is a storytelling thing. Um, but these are really description ones. So it's, it's trying, it's just not very good at... Um, having the things so you can find creative ways to use this to put them into your um, other ones perhaps maybe what you do is you have two copies of cobalt cpp open you have one with your story and then you have the other one kind of as your um uh what do you call it your resource window so you could get information from that copy it and paste it over into the one that's actually holding the um the story that you're working in and that so anyway that's how you load the stuff up in cobalt cpp have fun with it this is a really great application um again it's my favorite for just running stuff um i wouldn't call it produ i'm not productive with cobalt cpp but i have a lot of fun with it so hope you guys have a lot of fun with it too if you have any questions be sure to ask me you can join the discord server if you have any questions there um hey hit the like button and share this it helps the channel which helps everyone else out and as usual stay good and we'll catch you on the other side